It's October the 6th, uh, 2016. I'm Dana Durnford, your host, nuclear proctologist at Dynamore. And we're putting out a special presentation for the Rinse Network viewers at JeffRinse.com. And if you scroll down the page on the right-hand side, what you'll see is Dana Durnford just in the Fukushima third oil down. And you can link directly over to my site. So I hope you'll use Jeff Rince's site and you can keep your eye on that little corner for these short videos, particularly for Jeff Rince. And what we're going to talk about tonight, this is the real Unit 4 in Japan's reactors. And this is the fake Unit 4. And what you're going to see tonight is uh, several journalists saying, claiming, while they're inside of that uh, picture you're looking at there, that they're inside of the building on the right-hand side. of the decommissioning work taking place here in Reactor 4. At the end of a... 1,500 highly radioactive fuel rods inside this pool. They've got to move them outside of this reactor into a safer location. It is to see it firsthand, okay. we had to suit up. <laughs> the long-term solution here is to remove and secure the nuclear fuel. At Unit 4, they have begun that process. This reactor was shut down for maintenance when the tsunami hit, but not a single... And, uh, of Fukushima Daiichi stage, the, right after the accident, uh, it was, of course, the uh, emergency condition. But uh, right now, uh, gradually, gradually, uh, it became the uh, decommissioning stage, a more stable decommissioning stage, and that started the, as I mentioned, uh, the successful uh, completion of the uh, uh, dismantle of the uh, spent fuel from the Unit 4. The, uh... We are here inside Reactor 4 at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that was severely crippled during the earthquake and tsunami of 2011, leading to the country's worst nuclear disaster. Nuclear energy. Thanks for watching. I'm Miles O'Brien.